Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that has had almost a whole year long no buy. And today it is the last part of two things here on my channel. It's my last part in my 13 days of red and it's also the last no buy update for this year. And in my 13 days of red I am on the last S and I have gone back and forth uh, which palette I'm going to use for this, but I actually decided on the secret palette from Nabla. I know there has been a lot of Nabla, but Nabla is like my f one of my favorite brands. The palette looks like this, and this has been one of my absolute favorite palettes in my collection, and I still do really, really like love it. And I haven't used it for a while, so I thought today could be the day. So I'm going to do a look with this and I think I want to be like in this corner. So yeah, I'm going to apply my eyes and then we'll get started. And this is not going to be the last video I do about uh, no buy because I have, I'm going to do a video where I talk about maybe tips and tricks and all my feelings about it and everything. Uh, first I was like maybe I should talk about it in this video but I don't want this video to be like super super long and I just want a video that is dedicated to my no buy and also I want to do a, 12, a 12th update because I just want to and okay and also I excuse my voice um, I still have a little bit I wouldn't say that I still have a cold uh, it's just like it gets stuck on my vocal cords, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I thought that I can write down in the description which colors I'm using, and now I got a friend here. Ines, do you want to show yourself, maybe? I got Ines here. She's getting so big. She never wants to say hi. I think it's too light for her. Can you be behind me, maybe? So yeah, I it's the 26th today when I'm filming this and I am so so close to be done with this no by year and it feels so strange. It feels so strange that I have done this for a whole year. I have talked about that it's just getting easier and easier like the longer you go you are closer to the goal so it gets easier and easier but like this month the last like week it hasn't been that easy i don't know if it is because i am so close to the goal like i'm almost there it's less than a week and i don't know if it is because of that it has been a little bit harder and like there there is some things that i want to buy and i do have a cat there maybe i shouldn't have picked her up there is things that i really want to buy and like now when i'm at this this close i'm like okay maybe she just can buy it but now i'm not so it has actually been harder now the last week than it has been in many many months and i i think it is because i'm so close there is like some base price that i really want to buy now base products like foundation and concealers and primers has never been like a super big thing that i've spent my money on my big spending has been eyeshadows lipsticks and then maybe blushes and highlights so yeah i'm just eager to buy a new concealer i do like the one that i have from nick no not nick's nabla but now when winter has came to Sweden and it's colder and it's yeah just the winter air, it feels like that is like too dry for me. So it worked really good in the beginning, like in the summer and in autumn. I did really like it, but now in winter time, it doesn't like suit me that good. And I guess that I could buy. A new one 
and not like been breaking my no buy because I have realized this year that I don't want to use things just to use them up if I don't like them but I do like it it's just not maybe perfect for me so I've been really longing to buy a new concealer actually which I like have never I like all, almost always buy one concealer and then I use it up and then I buy a new one but yeah this time I've been really like I want to buy a new one I have though not decided on which one I want to buy but I want to buy a new concealer I have my eyes on some of a few but I haven't decided like fully yet which one I'm going to take so I guess that has been a little bit harder this month but uh, at the same time it's soon over and uh, yeah it's going to feel so strange the snow buy is over and I thought that I could actually in this video show you what I've bought makeup wise this year I've actually bought some things and I still though the, the the rules that I had like yeah, how much rules can you have when you have a no buy buy but like I was said like I can buy refills um but I have also like been buying eyeshadow base because yeah we get into that. Okay, so now I don't know if I want to go with the black one. Because I do really like to take these two together. But I don't know, maybe because I took this in my crease. Maybe I should continue on that way. Because that is pretty dark. And do I want the black? I think I actually want to take a black one, so I'm taking this now black. I think though this is pretty dark so maybe I should go in a little bit easy on this but you never know with me so my rules with the snow buy was like yeah I have an a no buy on makeup and I have tried to be better with skincare there I am not exactly sure on what I have bought when it comes to skincare this year um but with skincare I have been a little bit more because I've tried some skincare that doesn't that haven't worked for me and like I need different things for different seasons like yeah the winter in Sweden I need something a little bit more thicker and like I need an oil for that that maybe doesn't work for me in the summer um so there I have been buying things maybe when not everything is completely gone. But I think what I really learned this year is that I don't want to use things that I don't like just because using them. I have an example I bought where I had the tone activator eyeshadow primer from Kaleidos. I did actually throw that away because it it wasn't done in any like <laughs> way. I had so much left but like I couldn't make it work and it annoyed the crap out of me. Like every time when I tried to do my eyeshadow the eyeshadow base just fucked it up and it wasn't fun to do makeup when you're like sitting down and knowing like this is not going to go the way I want it to and that really it did take away <laughs> some joy for me when it comes to my makeup and I didn't want that so and I only feel like that is the best thing to do. Okay now I just think that I want to go in with that with that with this one on my lid and this look I don't know if I've made this in a video before or if I have just um, done it outside of YouTube but maybe I've done it in a video before I do really like this combo and I do really like this shimmer it 
feels like this palette didn't get so hyped. I don't know because this came out... I think this was the palette after Poison Garden and it feels like people just hated Poison Garden so when this came out and looked the same or had the same 15 pan I think that people were like, no, that is going to be shit as well. And I don't know why. I didn't... With the Poison Garden, I... It is not Nabla's best palette. It's not. And um, I think it was a fun idea. Poison Garden. And I do really like some of the shades in the palette, but it felt like the shades that was going to stand out like the blue and the berry they weren't good so people were just like hating on it but then this palette came out and people didn't seem to notice this I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this I have seen some of my YouTube friends talk about this because I have talked about it um, but yeah, I don't know. I do really like this palette and I do really like this look. Um, I think that this looks really good. So, okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts. I'm going to fix my base and then I know which lip I want to take to this. And yeah, I don't know what more to say about my no buy because this is like... When I'm recording this, it's five days left, and when you're seeing this, it's four days left only. And yeah, I'm going to show you what I bought this year, makeup wise. So I'm coming back with a full face without a lippy and a little hole. So for my lips, I'm going to go in with Rogue Assassin. This is an old limited edition from Nabla. I do love this. I, I might think though this could be a little bit cold tone for this look. <laughs> but it's red. So maybe not the best red but to this look but I do love it. Uh, for my face I did use Ombra, Truth and Ozone. And on my wash line I did use Honey Dude from Carpop. And yeah, Rogue Assassin on my lips. So, I do really like this look. I do love these eyes. I did use this in my inner corner. And these three on my lid. And this one in my crease. And this, no, crease, lid, lid, crease. In the corner. And I do really like this palette. And I think... Not that a lot of people talk about it, at least not in like my feed. And I do really love this palette. And yeah, I guess that was all for this 13 days of red. I do really hope that you liked it. It... I thought it was going to be so fun. And it has been fun to use palette that I... I wouldn't have used all this palette, I think. Um, the only thing is it has happened some things in my life, as you may know if you're watching my videos that I can't control, that has um, taken down my motivation a bit. I also got sick now in the end. I don't know what is up with me and like, getting sick in December. And yeah, I do thought... It, I was more excited about this in the beginning than I was now in the end. Today it feels pretty good. I feel better than I did when I did my last video. Am I 100% myself? Maybe not. But other from that, to wrap up my no buy updates, I'm going to do my haul and do not have high expectations. I think I have got all the things that I bought makeup wise. I'm not sure, but like I can't come up with what I have bought more than these things that I have in front of me and um, I guess this is going to be the shortest and most boring haul that I have ever done. So we can start with the things that I don't have anymore. I have bought 
It must be three, a two of the mascaras. Mascaras, mascar, mas, mascaras, mascaro, mascaras. <laughs> what? I bought some in the beginning of this year because I do change them after three months. I do not use them up. Um, not all of them, but I change them three months after three months, and I have thrown them away. That has been old. I do have this one left still. I'm going to buy a new one now in the beginning of January because this is going to... Yeah, I have used this for three months. And I have been really liking this. This is High Impact from Isadora. It's a volume mascara. I bought this because it was cheap. And I do think that Isadora do good mascaras. But this was actually so much better than I thought. Now I think it's not empty, but I've, it, it's drying up a little bit too much for my liking. I did also buy another one from Isadora and Worth the Hype from NYX, which I do love. Other things that I don't have in my collection still is, I think, free makeup sponges. I have a makeup sponge for two months maybe, maybe three. It depends like how much makeup I have used, how they look, if they are getting disgusting or anything like that. So that I have, I don't know how many I can have thrown away this year. Three maybe? Four. I think it's four. Um, so I bought some new, of, new ones of them. But then, the things, the other things. For my eyebrows, I have bought these two. These are two um, um, eyebrow gels. This one is the Control Freak from NYX. This one I'm using now. This is one of my absolute favorite when it comes to eyebrow gels. This is so, so good. And the only thing, like, I wish that this would have a little bit of color. Not that much, but just a little bit. But I do love this. And the other one I bought from the pen. It's an eyebrow mascara tint and shape. This I use when I have just colored my brows then this works really good because then I think it's they are getting too dark if I fill them in but as my brows are now um, now I have filled them in and used this one but yeah these two I've bought love this this I have come to the conclusion this year that fluffy brows is maybe not my thing then if we're going to take eyes I did bought these two eyeshadow primers. I had one from Kaleidos which I didn't like and it was just getting, I was just getting annoyed. So then I bought this one from Gloss Gods. It's that base. And if you have ever heard me talk about this, I do not like this one. So if I read the reviews on this one, people are like, this is the best eyeshadow primer that I have ever used. This is not the best eyeshadow primer I ever used. It works sometimes. It fails 9 out of 10 times. And it works good with shimmers. It works really, really good with shimmers. But it makes my matte shadows crease and just disappear. And it takes like 2 hours. I don't know why I can't make this work. I guess it's just not working with my eyes. And I've tried to take much of it, a little of it. like having it taking away with a sponge the when it's too much yeah it doesn't just work for me and I was getting so frustrated with this one as well so I did actually buy this one this is the one from Milani I don't know why I didn't bought this the first time when this when I used my other two up because this is the best eyeshadow primer I know I have it on today I love it it holds up on me this does everything that people say that this does for me. I love this one and I'm so happy that I bought it because I was getting so frustrated on this one. And then I did bought a new foundation. I did use up my tinted skin. The, no. My tint. The one from Fenty. East Drop. Um, and I had this tinted skin wheel from NYX in my backup drawer. 
But I was so eager to buy a new foundation, so I actually did. I bought this one pretty fresh from the body shop. And what I noticed about this one, because I opened the one from NYX as well, um, a week back or two. As you see, I've used pretty much of this. This doesn't work super good for me now in the winter. Um, I think this is a little bit, not drying, but like my face is a little bit drier now and I'm trying to get it better with, yeah, my um, skincare. But I didn't like this th this much. I do really like this one, maybe just not now. And I just need to find a primer that works really good for this. I use the um, an oil, primer oil. I don't know, but, but I do like this one. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. And uh, I think it looks really good. But uh, it's not the best now in the winter for me. But yeah, I bought this one. And then the last thing I bought makeup wise. It's like s storm outside. It's really, really windy. I don't know if you can hear it. But like really, really windy. I do live by the ocean, but I haven't heard any like warnings about it. Okay. I also did buy a new powder, which I haven't opened, but it feels like I'm defending myself. But I have this Nabla powder that I did repress. Okay, do you want to see something sad? This is all. This is all I have left. I did repress this one and it didn't look like it was going to survive so I bought this one but it did survive and it's still hanging on uh, so yeah I bought this one because yeah uh, I haven't opened this one so I don't know I guess this just have some uses out of it left because yeah as you see it's not that much left and yeah, that is all the makeup things that I bought this year actually and it feels so so strange and it feels so strange that I'm going to do this. Like I'm going to succeed with a year long no buy. I don't know how this happened. And I really hope that you like my updates and as I said it's going to be... I don't know if I'm going to do just a shadow video or if I'm going to do a good read with me where I talk about feelings and stuff because I didn't want to make this a super long video and I did want to have 12 updates and I'm going to do it maybe as a tag so tag and tips I don't know but I do really hope that you like my 13 days of red I do hope that you like my no buy updates and I do hope that you like this video so if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and for next year I haven't decided how I want to do I don't think I'm going to do a no buy, maybe a low buy. I don't know. We will get there. It will come videos on that in January, I guess. But yeah, I do really hope you like this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!